Hello everybody and it's a gorgeous day here at Walker Stadium. The weather gods are smiling on us and we're going to play baseball. You still have time to get some tickets but I suggest you bring a chair. Today we've got Coach Mags on my left, Mike Checks on my right, and um, I'm, I'm thinking we got some stuff to cover, don't we Mike? Yes we do oh, fans. Good to have you back. Mags, it's uh, it's tough when you start the season with more rainouts than games played. Uh, so some unplanned days off. What do you do uh, with unplanned days off this early in the season, and uh, what do you do with the team? Well, first of all, I think you're a pro because you lost your questions today because I stole them. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> anyway, what we normally do is work out. Okay. We, uh, we've we been in Milwaukee High School getting some VPN and getting some ground balls, getting pens, and just trying to keep our body moving instead of just sitting around, uh, trying to make something out of nothing. Okay. So, so you were working with the team then. Uh, now, I know you weren't doing that, like, all the time. Is this uh, is this one of those times where you try and get the team together and uh, maybe do some also team bonding stuff, like getting them used to one another, uh, you know? Did you guys go out and do anything as a group, or was it just pretty much business as usual? Business as usual. Okay. Because when you're doing business as usual, you're creating relationships. You're on the field talking, you're talking to the environment we're going to be in. Are they hanging out together? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they are, because I have a story to get food and dinner. They're hanging out together. But we were, we were in the stadium working in, and, and working in our environment. Good use of the days off then. Absolutely. Well, but let's go back in time to Saturday night's game. Last time we got to have a game here at Walker Stadium. We all put down the Richfield Raptors by a score of five to nothing. Continued dominant pitching. Your pitching staff has started the season with 18 innings without surrendering a run. Obviously, that's not something that we're going to get to see continue the entirety of the season. But uh, I mean, it'd be great if we could. But I got to figure that that is a pickles record at this point, starting with 18, uh, 18 innings with no runs. What have you seen so far from your pitchers? They're throwing strikes. And the, and the key is you're throwing strikes. First pitch strikes, first out of every inning. Um, trying to be efficient with our pitches, getting soft contact early in the counts. And then when you got the opportunity to punch somebody out, taking advantage of that. Okay. Uh, I didn't get a chance to talk to you after Saturday night's game with all the chaos that evening and the uh, rain starting to set in. Benson got pulled a little bit early that night after he'd gone two and two thirds. Uh, was he injured, or was that a, a gut feeling in the moment that you were like, "No, nah, it's probably uh, time to shut it down tonight"? Is he is he on an innings restriction early in the season? What, what was going on with that? I, I tell people exactly how I feel all the time. So in our meetings, I, I explain them. I just didn't like the way he was working. Okay. I thought he was uh, being a little bit slow, was sort of putting us to sleep, all behind the counts. He had good stuff. I just didn't like the way he looked. And so we went to our next reliever. He got us that key out. Cheeto, right? So he got us the key out and then came in and struggled the next and went straight to the pen. I don't think that we really got into rhythm until Ryder Edwards got in the game. Pitching, starting pitching specifically, needs to set the tone for the entire team for us. And I thought that when, when Ryder got in, I think in the fourth inning, uh, he completely changed the tone of the game and the momentum was definitely went to our side of the state. Okay. Uh, and then uh, you got a our first Pickles home run of the season from Kevin Ferguson in the bottom of the fifth inning. A uh, shot out to the left field bullpen. Uh, Ferguson's been hot to start the season. What have you seen? He's playing well. He's, he's bigger. He's stronger. Uh, he's, he's slowing the game down. Last year he was an incoming freshman, so he's extremely good for him. He's just more experienced, more composed, and more mature. And he's athletic, so that, help, that helps a lot. Is it, is it different from a coaching standpoint getting to work with a player that is a return player that you got to work with last season? Yes, absolutely, because you already have a relationship, right? So you have a relationship with that player, and see, it's, you sort of jump on the train with right? With the new guys, you're creating relationships every day. You're making sure you talk, try to talk to everybody in the clubhouse, make sure they're going well, and just talk about anything but baseball. Okay. Walla Walla in tonight for what is going to be a shortened two-game series. We're lucky to reschedule one of the rainouts for tomorrow night, so that'll be nice. Uh, they're one and two so far on the season. Have you heard anything or seen anything from Walla Walla yet this season? Well, I know their skipper, and, and Jared's a, a, a good young uh, manager. He's going to be a star in this game at some point. Uh, I, I respect him a great deal, so I expect his club to come in here, play the game extremely hard, play the game the right way, and be really tough to, to beat tonight and tomorrow and, and for the rest of the year. Well, they're going to be uh, fun, competitive games. You've got Dylan Smith on the bump tonight. Uh, not somebody that we got to see during the preseason. Uh, what can you tell us about our starting yeah, picture this season? We're hoping he has what we think he is. Uh, he's going to come in, throw strikes, he's going to work quick, keep us, keep us in rhythm defensively, get us in. 
back to hit as quickly as possible. We'd open the line. Right on. Should be a fun night tonight. Uh, anything else we should let the fans know ahead of the game tonight? Uh, today we got uh, a little bit of help today. Uh, I think one of the better players in the WCL last year until he got hurt earlier in the year, Shinzuki Sakiano is back today. Uh, he'll be on the lineup card when we start the game, but he's available to us tonight, maybe tomorrow night. Uh, just whenever he's ready to play, we'll get him rolling. And he's back. Um, we just got, we're just ready to go. You know, it's a lot of fun early in the season when you keep getting players in almost on a daily basis. Uh, lineup's going to change. Uh, you'll see that during the beginning part of the season. About when, about when in the season do things sort of settle in for you, where you're like, all right, I've got a pretty good idea who my starting nine is, depending on what we're going to see from an opposing pitcher. Like, when when do you as a, a manager get to hit that stride? You know, I think you can't put a timetable on it. You're just going to know when you know. It's sort of just you know when you know, and, and I don't know yet. Okay. Right. So it's, we're just we're putting things together, trying to see what fits, how it works, what, what are the dynamics of the lineup, both out of the pen and the starting rotation, and offensively and defensively. Right. You just don't know. You're plugging. You're seeing who can do what, and who's willing to do the things you ask. Well, as always, Coach, you've got some great insights. Ron, did you have anything else for us? Well, um, yeah. I, 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 we're, uh, we're done here. I think there's only one thing left we can say. All right. Go, Go Pickles! pickles.